Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing one of the either the best games or the worst games of all time. My Little Pony, The Runaway Rainbow for the Game Boy Advance. This is a game that involves ponies, ponies, and something about rainbows. It sounds like the best game ever. The first part you'll notice about this game is that there uses passwords instead of saves. Really? And this game's supposed to be from 2006. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the plot when you start the game. Supposedly, it's a special day in Unicornia, and you're supposedly a princess and you must learn how to make a rainbow. Seriously? Is this is what the plot is? Rainbows bring magic and color to everything, and whistle machines make the first rainbow of a city? Seriously? What kind of crappy plot is this? I mean, this has got to be like the worst plot in a game ever that isn't just walk from point A to B. So, first off, you're supposed to help somebody decorate the bridge. Except there are two things you'll notice. First off, the graphics are horrible. When you walk up and down, what happens is it doesn't even show them walking up and down. It just moves them going sideways. And the whole game involves walking sideways and talking to people and finding stuff. And so the first one is you're supposed to talk to this pony and hide rainbow ribbons. And it's so easy too. All you gotta do is walk along a straight line and you know those ribbons? Boom! They'll be on the ground! Is that seriously what real life is? Walk through a straight path and it'll magically be on the ground. Boom! So now, once you do that, what'll happen is, you have to take them back. And then you hear the most creepy laugh of all time. <laughs> no! And then a rainbow meter fills up. You could also call it a gay meter, but I'm not going to be lame enough to make a gay joke. Now the next pony wants you to find flags. I mean, seriously? That's the exact same as last thing. Is the whole game just doing the same crap over and over again? Because this game really looks crappy from this point, and I haven't even played much of it. That's just pathetic. Oh, look. It's not over there. By the way, let's talk to a pony for a crappy minigame. Never mind. Let's skip her for now. Now, I'm gonna skip ahead. So while the pony moves about as slow as grandma on this annoying music plays, oh my god, the flag was in the middle of here? Why wasn't it there earlier? Okay, the flag was over in here? Why wasn't it there minutes ago? Does this game work on like magic or something? Where the, ri where the ribbons magically appear? Okay, now back to the flags. Once you find all three flags, then of course, you get the same usual stuff. And what's the whole point of this game? Just do stuff until the rainbow meter fills up then go to the next place. That's all the game is. I played like three chapters into this piece of crap and I'll even show you. Now, let's talk to this random pony. All you gotta do is copy the design. Like seriously, this is so easy. Just look, hit the D-pad and until it looks exactly like that and then you go down and then you know what you just beat that and this is like retarded next so after you're done with that and after you walk slowly and listen to this horrendously bad music there's a bubble fight and that's all this is seriously all you do is randomly hit a until they hit. And all you have to do is get it past 10, just like every other game in this. By the way, another horrendous thing about this game is the music. I've mentioned it several times, but I'm just gonna let it play just so you can kill your ears. Are you deaf yet? And the whole soundtrack consists of the same five tunes.
still deaf. Okay, now back to the gameplay. All they did for this one is add two ponies. To make it harder, but they're also big targets because all you gotta do is you move up and down and boom, you score. Um, yeah. These things are terrible. I mean... And even if you lose, you still get stuff. Now, next... Here's another bad thing about this game. If the pony can walk sideways, then why does it just walk up just now? The next one is just a mini game where what you do is you just hit random colors. It's like a crappy version of paint by number, except they never even check. So you can just hit random colors while your slow pen moves at a speed about 2 inches per hour. And then you did it. Next. The next mini game is you are the princess and you must learn some some twirl or something I don't know. And all it is, it's a Simon ripoff. Oh yeah, and now for more creepy laughing or something like that. 3 2 1 <laughs> No! Can you follow the magic one? Oh look, Simon ripoff. It's like a retarded Simon roll. Just look at it. They don't even do the same things. Just sit up and down, and boom. All you have to do is get the meter up to ten, like every other mini game in this game. And then what happens is you win. So after you do a bunch of bad mini games, the plot continues and rarity disappears, and. I don't even know, because all she does is disappear, and then you have to enter a long password. Really? They were too cheap for save memory? So now you're supposed to find these things, which I don't know where they are. I forgot their names, and I'm too lazy to get them, but still. All, it's the same as the other things. Walk back and forth and pick it up. This is incredibly boring. Seriously, whoever programmed this game had some crazy idea to think this was fun. Seriously, this is not fun. You want to see something else annoying? You have to walk across that screen, like 50 million screens, then you finally get to the end and you find out you can't go up. It's like it blends with the background, because none of the places you can go in. Oh, but then you find out you have to walk up there and press a button. Really? Can't they just make it simple so instead of trying to go up and guess, look. Oh, it might be over here. No. Let's just go back to the other screen and... Oh, it's probably here because I just guessed. I went all the way back there until they gave me a hit. Now for the crappy minigame, you have to move the magic wand and hit them. It's like a crappy version of whack a <laughs> That sound! That is horrifying! And it's not funny either, it sounds like one of those crappy clowns from a creepy horror film. No, My ears can't stand this any longer. Next! So after I find all the things or whatever they're called, you have to, they block you because they realize they forget something again. And afterwards, it gets kind of annoying because you're tired of walking back and forth across screens. Then, they block you and you have to, um, well, go all the way to like 15 screens and go or something. Like, seriously, just look how many screens I have to go back. One. And no, this game, you actually move about as slow as grandma. Two. Three. Then, Rarity has to catch the rainbow berries, and the controls are absimal. She misses them because it has to hit exactly the yellow thing. It's annoying as heck. Now, next. So once you're done with that, they all take you back to Ponyville. 
Seriously, this game looks kind of dumb already, but now on say I'll take you why they have to pick you up I don't know I mean there's a bridge can't isn't she like can't she walk over it now next so once you get in there are a whole bunch of pony recolors waiting for you because after all everything in my little pony is a recolor now what happens is well actually Twilight Sparkle comes in look I mean, Rainbow Dash. Look at her. She's 20% gayer. So now after a bunch of boring cutscenes, which I conveniently skipped, I'm gonna pick Twilight Sparkle. I mean, Rainbow Dash. Why do I keep confusing the two? What the heck? So now... Look. They're all the exactly the same. They're red colors. They move at about 2 inches per hour. And... Now I'm gonna try looking for it. Oh wait, this is even worse. This is the place he should be, but... Now, I have to walk back and forth all the way. And, as you... As you know, this is really tedious. Because there's so many places to look in this game. It's just annoying as heck. I don't want to do this anymore. But So I'm just going to skip this part and get to the later part or something. Because this is just the same crap as earlier. I didn't play this game just did the same crap over and over again. Just stopping in the house so quick. Just talk to one and you'll turn into your choice of bad pony recolors. You can play as Rarity, Rainbow Dash, uh... Which one is... The, I forget, because I don't care. Then you come in and you got more recolors. Twinkle Twirl, uh... Let's play as Pinkie Pie for no reason. Oh, yeah. This is the stuff that all the freaking bronies are gonna hate. They're gonna be like, this game sucks already. But, now, I mean, it already sucks, but so. Now, next. Okay, now inside some pony shop. That creepy laugh again, and... Now, it's time for what the crappy mini game of the day is. If it's something that involves... Okay, never mind. It's an exact reskin of the other one at the beginning where you dress up your pony and make your crappy fan character. Now this one is just pick a Sunday or something. Aw, oh, the same repetitive music plays. And honestly, this is so easy. I mean, even a brain dead alien could do this. I mean, yeah. See, boom, congratulations. Done. Next. If this one involves finding stuff, I'm gonna give up. Oh my god. This one is involving finding stuff. It's official. I'm not playing this game any longer. This game blows! All you ever do is run around and find stuff, and it's boring! The music sucks, the gameplay sucks, the graphics suck, everything sucks. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe.